Hey there guys, today I want to present to you uh, a new feature in Logic 10.5 which is an awesome feature for me, one of the best ever I mean, where you can sample directly into a sampler a hardware instrument like a Moog Mother 32 or whatever external synth you have and I made it this way, let me show you um, here I have my external instrument setup, which is basically when you go and create a new track and make external MIDI, you use external plugin settings and I have my input of the sound card and I have my MIDI destination and the output. But this is my template here, so I already did this. So this is the MIDI destination MOOC mother on MIDI channel 1 and input 15 of my sound card. After that you go and put a auto sampler, it's a mono, a mono synth so I'm gonna put a mono plug in here. You just throw it in here, open it, then you can define how many semi notes you want to sample and how many octaves. I just want to demonstrate a short test with for you. You have even round robins, means different kinds of samples, so you, it doesn't sound too robotic. I put the sustain to 4 seconds, not too long, not too short, the sound is just like this, so should be fine. And I will create an auto loop with X-Fade. I just let this on, and you have to check your level that it doesn't go over, over this here, should not be red, but it should be loud. Otherwise, you will lose a little bit of quality. Then you press sample. You create the name for it. Mother32. Uh, sign. Test. Okay. And press start. It's going to auto sample these five notes, six notes, seven notes, <laughs> one by one, I mean this feature is incredible, no more recording into logic after cutting samples and then sampling it and stuff like this, I mean this is such a drastic drastic thing for my workflow. Last note. Then what are you gonna do? <clears throat> I mean this is my template here so I don't need it but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay? You create a new track which can be also done here. You say you want a software instrument. Create this it threw it down here. Then we go to the sampler. We want a, it should be here in, in this case for you guys. Um, sampler, stereo, we could say mono. Let's do mono because we worked in mono. And then it should appear here, sampler instruments. No, sorry, auto sampled. And here we go. Then we just see here the mapping. C2 and I can change the release and then I can do all kinds of things I mean this is a sampler standard thing that's it folks I hope you like this video I hope this helps you new logic version 10.5 and it's awesome it's really nice. So, still some little bugs, but all in all, the performance is much better. See you next time.